if, like me, you are a movie buff, you probably knew that David Lynch made an adaptation of Frank Herbert's Dune novel in the 1980s. It's pretty good. It's weird, but it's good. You might not have known that the Sci-Fi Channel did another adaptation of Frank Herbert's Dune entitled Frank Herbert's Dune (laughs) in the early 2000s. This is also a pretty good adaptation. It's also very weird. The story of Dune is very weird. There are sandworms. There are super space nuns. I don't know how else to describe the Bene Gesserit. This adaptation is good. But watching it again just this weekend made me realize that an adaptation, for it to be a really great adaptation, for it to be considered a classic, the ingredients are not just translation. By all objective measures, the Sci-Fi Channel miniseries is a better, more accurate translation of Frank Herbert's Dune novel into a film. But it's not nearly as good a movie, maybe even as the David Lynch version, but definitely not as good as the Denis Villeneuve versions from just a couple of years ago in part two that came out this year. Simple things make the miniseries a better translation. Aaliyah is presented as she is in the books and has the actual conclusion in the novel that you would expect. Denis Villeneuve changes that storyline completely. Muad'Dib and Chaney have a son in the miniseries, as they do in the books, and they lose that son in the climactic battles. Here's a small one, but there is a great dinner scene in the book and in the miniseries that is just left out entirely from the Denis Villeneuve films. It would fit well in his part one, and it really establishes the politics and relationships that control not just life on Arrakis, but throughout the Imperium. And Denis just wasn't interested in that, or at least didn't feel like it was necessary within the budget and time constraints that he was facing. Now... Ask me which one's a better movie. (laughs) I enjoyed the Sci-Fi Network miniseries. I enjoyed it the first time I watched it. I've definitely enjoyed it the second time that I rewatched it now. And I will look forward to watching the Children of Dune miniseries that they made. That's kind of a combo of both Dune Messiah and the book Children of Dune. I'll tell you how good an adaptation that one ends up being when I finish it. I want to read the books first. But my point here is that when you are adapting a thing that you love and many others love, your first duty is to tell a great story. The same thing was true for Stephen King's The Shining. The adaptation that was made by Stanley Kubrick is beloved by film fans, most of us anyway, but it was sort of hated by Stephen King for a long time. He even made his own version as a miniseries with ABC. And you know what? His miniseries is a better translation of the book, but it's not the better film, and neither is this sci-fi miniseries. 